Hi. Crokeygen here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another piece of Final Fantasy XIV content. I don't know what this is going to be like. I think this is the Allied Tribe. What, what are we calling them these days? They've gone through like half a dozen different names, it feels like, over the last two years or so. Um, it's, it's the Beast Tribe quest. Let's say what it is. Um, I'm assuming that's this because it's got the uh, the, the Ohokali emote. I still haven't done the MSQ. I'm kind of putting it off until I'm feeling a little bit better. In other words, I, I'm recording this first, and if this goes well, then I might do some MSQ in a bit. Hmm. Maybe meeting with her won't be so easy after all. Pablo said she'd be around here somewhere, though. Who? Us. Oh, whoa. Demogen, the adventurer. The mighty warrior who travelled the length and breadth through Toral, taking in its myriad sights, sounds and smells, even those within the, within the otherworldly dome. The savvy haggler who helped the third promise acquire a saddle worth ten pal in a thousands column, despite, despite starting with a mere hundred. My inner abacus is clucking away. You're the missing piece I've been looking for. The missing piece of my brand new enterprise, that is. Uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. I got a little carried away. I, I'm just so happy to finally meet you. I'm Liplu, a merchant. Until recently, my business was bedclothes, all woven from the finest alpaca wool. My dear friend Mablu told me all about you. I hear you gave her the nudge she needed to embark upon her journey as a peddler. I can't begin to thank you enough. Hand bow. But I'll get straight to the point. I have a proposal for you today, Demogen. How would you like to become a special advisor for a trailblazing tourism venture? I call it the Turali Travel Agency. Uh I'm Commander Demogen, and this is the best to rally out no, of... Uh, of course, you'll be compensated for your time. You'll also be the first in line for all kinds of treats and trinkets. Not to mention a wealth of exciting experiences. Well, I do like exciting experiences. And also, treats and trinkets. Uh, just, mm. You don't have to answer right away. But if any of this has roused your interest, please come and visit me in Okano. We can go over the finer details there. I'll be waiting for you, along with the rest of my associates. Nod. Society quests. That's it. it it's kind of weird. And, and th this is a very bizarre thing to be saying. But it's kind of weird looking at Demogen like this. Uh, because for the last couple of days, uh, as I've not been feeling great, uh, I've been on a little bit of a nostalgia bender. So after doing the FF11 raid, I kind of fell down a little bit of a rabbit hole when it came to going back through all of my screenshots and this, that and the other. And then of course I remembered, well actually, my first... FF14 character, who is not this one, um, my first FF14 character was an Elizan, who was made to look like my original FF11 character. And I couldn't find any decent high resolution screenshots of my FF11 character because even when I did the Return to Vanadil thing last year, I. I, just, I snapshotted a load of stuff on my phone to send to my best friend saying look what i'm doing um but i didn't actually take any screenshots of the game using the game so i've only got those really kind of crappy well they're not crappy they're they're still decent enough phone shots but they're clearly phone shots 
Um, so still, all of the screenshots that I've got for Final Fantasy XI are at, I think it's 946p max or something like that. Um, which is, yeah, it, it's a bit dumb of me. Um, but it got me looking into my first FF14 character, um, who I just started leveling up and doing some MSQ. She's been stuck at Castrum Meridianum since 2.0, essentially. And, um, yeah, obviously that's all different and stuff now. For example, I didn't realise that after you've done the Praetorium and I need to look this up because I've forgotten what it's called. Yeah, so after you do the Praetorium, then you do a trial. Don't you? Yes, you do the Port of Decumana, which is where you face off against the ultimate weapon. What I hadn't realised, because I think I'd just forgotten about it, is that, of course, you get that little fight with Thancred slash La Habrea afterwards, and they've turned that into a solo duty, um, which is nice. So I did that and kicked La Habrea's ass, and, and, and yeah, it was interesting to see all that again in the context of Endwalker and Shadowbringers, really, because I haven't seen it since then. Um, I could be teleporting whilst I'm talking, couldn't I? So, yeah, um, the, the stuff that I've been looking at over the last couple of days has been Demogen the Elvan. No, Demogen the Elizan, uh, who is based on, but can't look quite like... Um, the Elvan version, because the hairstyle that Phase 6B has in FF11 is actually Ellison hairstyle, Ellison male hairstyle one that isn't a female equivalent of it. Unless you mod it. <clears throat> but even then, it, the, the hairstyle doesn't fit quite right onto the head. But it was, it, it's been interesting. Um, the reason that I didn't play much of that character was um, just because I, I don't, I didn't really like the, the look of the Ellison in FF14. Their necks are still slightly too long, their heads are still slightly too small, but they're better now that the, the graphical updaters updated the faces a significant amount anyway back to this actual quest ah there you are thank you for coming right here goes oh ho kali welcome to kozomo uka Demogen does not hesitate. <laughs> Demogen has paid attention. Ah, you've mastered the Hanu Hanu greeting. Ah, but I wouldn't expect anything less from someone so well-travelled. Well, if Wuklamat can do it, we can do it. Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Liplu, the founder of the Trolley Travel Agency. With me are my brother Yuli and my Hanu Hanu associates. We'll be happy to explain the ins and outs of our budding enterprise. You were there for the Ascension Ceremony, weren't you? Yes. I have heard that they have indeed changed the Sveen voice line and potentially other bits and pieces around it, but I haven't seen it yet. Dawn's servant Wuklamat spoke of growing to love her people all the more as she got to know them better, of how she wanted us to live with joy in our hearts and smiles on our faces. Well, those words certainly left their mark. The capital's residents are eager to learn about their fellow Turali, who in turn yearned to foster understanding. 
You see it too, don't you? An unmistakable business opportunity. Ah, that's precisely where the TTA comes in. Ah, we'll answer that burgeoning demand. Our goal is to help revitalise this community as it attempts to rebuild after the great storm. Promoting Kazumauko as a tourist destination will provide a much-needed source of income for the region, and with it, all the benefits that follow. Of course, we wouldn't be having this discussion had we, uh, this conversation even, had we not consulted the Hano beforehand. <laughs> after much discussion, they kindly agreed to set aside a tract of land by Doc Poga for development. And would you believe it? The villagers are flocking to join our staff. As Liku said, the people are eager to learn about their fellow Turali, and we Hano are eager to share our culture with them as well. No much as when you helped us to revive Ihahana, we hope to welcome many outsiders into our home. I'm starting to sound a little bit like Yoda. Mm, and we may know one another better and enjoy each other's company. And what a better way to do so? That's... A, that's, that's I'm going to stop. But what better way to do so than to support this tourism initiative? This is why I don't do voice acting. Nada. Of course, tourism is an industry is an industry new to Tura. This is familiar territory in many respects. People understandably, understandably have their concerns. But... Who better to assuage those concerns than someone who's roamed far and wide and met with countless Turali from all over the continent? <laughs> That's not the most sincere smile, Demogen. The core of our business is providing accommodations and guided tours for the local area. As we speak, Wokevu is putting his shipwright schools to use. Skills to use. Skulls. Give me the skull. No. Heading up construction for our base of operations by Doc Poga. From sourcing foodstuffs to souvenirs and everything in between, we're working hand in glove with the good people of Akanu to make sure this venture benefits everyone involved. Still, there are a few things I'm worried about. The guided tours, for example. Visitors will journey here after making a reservation at our office in Tuliolal. We'll have to guarantee their safety every step of the way. After all, can't expect our customers to handle themselves like you can. And that leads us neatly back to my proposition. So, how about it? Can we count on your help as a special advisor while the travel agency finds its feet? Once propositioned, who am I to refuse? I could have done this on a level 90 job, couldn't I? Ha! I knew we could count on you. Oh, wonderful. Though I'm loath to put you to work straight away, I would seek your assistance. We guides have each devised a plan for our prospective tours, based on our knowledge of our homeland. But we'd benefit greatly from the input of a worldly traveller like yourself. Honest opinions only. Okay. Lifley, perhaps you could accompany Demogen and appraise the tours as well. I'll stand behind and oversee construction with Wokivu. A fine idea. Guides, please wait in your respective tour locations. I will take damage into each of you in turn. Okay. When you're ready, just say the word. I'm as keen as the Hannah Hanawa to hear your thoughts. Okay, one second. So apparently I have to continue doing this on Reaper. I've just uh, tried swapping over and realised that I'm actually locked to it. Ah, and it does tell me. That's fine. All set. Now then. Our three guides have planned three unique tours, so we will speak with them one at a time before proceeding to the next. We'll start by paying a visit to Genuhanu, Genuhanu in the fields of gold, I am told wishes to showcase local industry with a focus on the village and reeds and reed fields. Let's -a go. Oh, 
Uh, I'm glad you're here. I almost couldn't bear the weight. Right, let me explain my concept for the tour. Ahem. First and foremost, I see this as a chance for our customers to understand we had them, and where better to learn than right here among our reed fields. After all, reeds are at the very heart of our culture. Just cast your gaze across these lush fields, and you'll get a sense of what defines us. But that's enough about my thoughts. What do you think? I should like to believe this is a place those not of the Hanu could also appreciate, but... I think visitors will take a keen interest in the reed fields. We did. Oh, the paddies are a unique part of the local landscape. Not everyone will have seen such a site before, but perhaps you could also show them your villages. That way they'll have a better idea of how the Hanu live. Yes, yes, I think this plan is coming along nicely. To summarise, if we begin by guiding guests around the villages, they'll see how reeds are so tightly interwoven with Hanu Hanu culture, that way they'll appreciate the precious resource growing in your paddies all the more. Well, I mean, yes, obviously, I was going to say that as well. Ah, I was so excited about showing visitors our fields, I hadn't considered that they might like to learn about the normal everyday lives of Wehano too. I appreciate the suggestion. Consider also having a range of handicrafts on offer that visitors might purchase if so inclined. Perhaps a mix of practical household items and more esoteric trinkets, charms and the like. Right, let's head for the breath between next. Zelly Halley has proposed a walking tour of the river. It ought to be waiting for us there. I lo completely lost track of time. My attention was whisked away by the endless waters of Kuashi. Ku Kuashi? Ku of the river. If you didn't know, Kuashi means big tongue in our language. If you aren't careful, you might find yourself slurped up and taken off by the current. Now, I bet insights into the language like that will prove a hit with visitors. I'm glad you think so, but I'm still a little unsure of my plan. The idea is to guide guests along the river, explaining the language and local history as I go, but is that really enough entertainment? How about working in a spot of fishing too? Ah, oh, I see. Offering an activity besides sightseeing is a wonderful idea. I appreciate your advice. Whatever form the tour takes, I want to make sure our guests leave completely satisfied. I'll be sure to confer with Lulu as I hammer out the details. Yeah, it's time we went to see Zenu Hanu. He's proposed a magical spelunking tour in which visitors can marvel at the natural beauty of the world beneath our feet to Cave Kikitola. There you are. I was starting to feel lonesome waiting for you to arrive. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Cave Kikitola is the source of many minerals and medicinal ingredients. For generations, it's been held as a sacred site of healing. I'm sure visitors will be enamoured with the cave's natural beauty, but the route here from the villages is long and arduous and the interior is rather dark. I fear it might not be a suitable reward for the challenge of simply getting here. Hmm. Excellent suggestion. Of course, with any such plans, respect for the cave and its significance for the Hanna would be paramount. The souvenirs we acquire in our journeys can be quite near and dear to us. I think visitors would love to take a piece of their trip back home, and the villagers could make use of any surplus materials as well. But as I know Hannah said, the cave is somewhat remote. We can't discount the possibility of tour groups running afoul of... Afoul of? A, a rare typo. Foul of fiends on the way here. Perhaps we'd be better off reserving this course for more seasoned travellers. Ah, I must say, the two of you are full of fine ideas. I've started to get excited. Just give me a little longer and I'll have my plan ready. Well, with that, we've heard all three proposals from our guides. 
I'm sure you're tired after all that traipsing around, but let's get back to Arcana, shall we? Sorry to have taken up so much of your time, but you helped address the guide's worries and put some excellent suggestions to the table. While we're out there, a question I've been pondering came to mind. What exactly is it that we're selling with the TTA? Not as simple as peddling produce or providing a service. If we're unsure, we'll have a hard time enticing customers. For the longest time, I couldn't pinpoint the answer, but hearing those proposals made it crystal clear. We're in the business of ephemeral experiences. It is our responsibility to curate every moment of a visitor's stay and ensure they leave with wonderful memories that last a lifetime. That way, our customers will be sure to fall in love with Kazuma Uko and his people. <laughs> I can practically hear my inner abacus clacking away. Provided we hold fast to our principles and remember that we're here to serve our customers above all else, I'm confident they'll have no qualms about parting with their hard-earned pal. The TTA will be synonymous with experiences both exceptional and unforgettable. I'll have to drive that message home when I promote our enterprise in the capital. And there's the matter of... making sure the benefits outweigh the burdens for the Hanu. Oh, there's so much to do. But before that, how about we take a look at our soon-to-be-built base of operations near Doc Poga? Oh, my brother and Wookievu, I dare say they've made remarkable progress already. Apparently, they're ready to start construction. The blueprints have been finalised and all the materials are to hand. Once the work is finished, then the countdown really begins. It's hoping for satisfied customers and, more importantly, happiness. We're all involved. Be they Hanno, Ow. Hello, or oh, adventurer extraordinaire. It's so wonderful to have you on board. Let's work together and make this a stunning success. Ho ho, Kali! Society quest completes. I am going to swap job. Ah, uh, what do you say we get this thing built? Soaring noises. Ooh. Tuvali. Travel agency. Nice. <laughs> With construction work on the Tuali Travel Agency complete, Liplu and her associates have their eyes set on establishing Kozama Uka as the top tourist destination. Yet a host of challenges remain before their goals can be realised. As special advisor, it is your duty to offer support and guidance as they embark on this exciting new enterprise. Society quests unlocked. My reputation has increased too friendly. Palu Palu Society Quests are now available for Mubli and Doc Poga. Furthermore, you may now purchase wares from Pavli. You've learned the emote. Oh, Kali! Palu Palu Proponent 1. Okay. So, we've got the Palo Palo, uh, Pel, Pel Plume, who sell stuff, and uh, Materia, and, and that's it right now. So I'm assuming...
So I guess I can just go and do. Oh. Ah, damn it. You may recall me saying at the start that I was actually feeling not too terrible today and that my heart was behaving. It has stopped behaving. I do not know. I do not know what is triggering this issue. I've got an appointment at the hospital on Monday where hopefully they will be able to to start some kind of treatment. A ferocious foliage, fearful tourists. Uh, do, do I want to do this on Gunbreaker? Realistically, I want to do it on a on a job that I can't just easily level up, and tanks I can easily level up. Like same with healers, you know the with the the there's very clearly a shortage of people healing right now. Bard, I've been waiting so that I can do the fizz ranged quest with. I think it's, there's, there's not really a huge number of these that I'm particularly excited about. Yeah, you know, I've leveled the ones that I'm really interested in: Picto, Viper, Reaper, Dark Knights. Let's, uh, let, let's go with arguably my one of my least favourites. I'm not a big fan. That's the wrong button. No, that's also the wrong button. And that's all recommended. Um, I haven't been a big fan of Paladin for a long time. So let's let's do do this. Ah, it's heartening to see Doc Pogo. So wait, weren't you in there as well? That's Doc Pogo. So vibrant and bustling, but the increased traffic has drawn some unwanted visitors. With a an infestation of you outs, you outs. Strider of the Sun. Yeah, I, th these these are just going to be the basic. Go here, do a thing. Speak to a Hanu priest. Alpaca husbandry. Great. Would you be willing to spend some time with the alpacas? The fuzzy creatures need extra special care. Sure. Yeah. I mean, all of this stuff is very, very basic. And it's it's just a nice, quick thing that, you know, will we'll, we'll keep you logging in and doing stuff. Oh, fight or flight now. Transitions to Goring Blade. So I don't actually need that there. Uh, I don't know what any of these abilities do. <laughs> oh, that heals me. Okay. Yeah, as I said, I, I don't play. I, I don't play any of the tanks anymore, really. I used to. I used to kind of split my time between them quite a lot. Um, but I've reached the stage where as much as I enjoy FF14, and I do, I really do enjoy FF14, this isn't my forever game. I don't have any ideas about, you know, this is my forever game. This is the one that I want to plow all of my time into. I love the variety of video game experiences. I don't just need to focus on the one. So I just don't play it as much. And I'm happy with the jobs that I have leveled. 
part of the vision. How will the community weather the change? Okay. So they have their doubts. Uh, I needed to pick up. Oh no, I just need to go and visit the alpacas. <laughs> I like the fact that it specifically tagged the alpaca back. Official opaca noises. Mm -hmm. Okay. Didn't have to go very far for any of those. Reputation increased. He has his concerns about the type of travellers. The packers are doing fine. Go. Yeah. So we got just over a third of the level from that. So three days of that. Yeah, so I, th this will increase to to other random stuff as we as we go, and because it's, I mean that that took what three or four minutes tops because of how close they were. I can't imagine they're all going to be so close, but if I mean if they are, that'd be great because traveling you know two thirds of the way across the zone for the um the Razzard Han ones was it, it, it was fine you know it's really easy xp to level up your alt jobs um but it, it's it's not the most thrilling content and, and nor does it need to be and nor would I want it to be I don't need it to be super complex super in-depth or anything like that it is just there to help you level up and get a little bit of XP, potentially while you're, you know, waiting for a dungeon queue or something like that, something quick and easy that you can come back to, or something that, you know, you can log in for five minutes a day and do and still feel like you're making some kind of progress. That's that's what it's for. That's what I appreciate it for. And I, I can still go and do my, uh, my samurai and monk stuff because I, I do want to get those up to... Yeah, you know, I want to get everything up to ninety realistically to to get the rewards. But yeah, so nice little base of operations. I like the the Palo Palo involvement. You know, the, the the travel agency is just the kind of silly conceit that works well for this kind of stuff. This has been expanded quite significantly. So I'm assuming as the as the tiers of friendship rank up, the reputation or whatever it is, I can't remember what it's called, the the different bits and pieces around here will get finished and open up and so on and so forth. That's how it's generally always been. So looking forward to seeing what that's like. That's gonna do it though for that video. Pretty short, pretty sweet, another piece of content to turn. Not exactly hugely en uh, en engaging is the wrong word. It's, it's, it's not very time consuming, it's not very deep content, but it's it's content that, that has a clear usage and, and need. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a fabulous day, folks. And I'll catch you all in the next bit of content. 
uh, and I don't know what that's going to be. So I guess you'll find out at some point soon. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.